Morning Jim Bob. Morning Tom. Here he is. We are at London Heathrow um, on our way to Amsterdam for a meeting with Kuhn at their headquarters. I haven't done a vlog for ages because I've been pretty busy with the move to uh, Norway and all, getting all stuff sorted out. But I'm back with my work wife Jim Bob over there and we're ready for another adventure. Behind the scenes here in the Kuhn factory where the magic happens. Picking your nose. We've been in meetings all day. Get on. Uh, for 1922. And what's happening in the next couple of years, building up some uh, educational background for the whole thing. Brainstorming. Creating an identity. It's really exciting stuff. Me and Jim Bob and Ronald Dubon. A lot of things to look forward to. Yeah, really good. And that's our uh, new brand manager over there, Hi. Julian. Hi. He's over there, really good. So now we're getting back in a taxi again to the airport to head back to the UK, ready for America. So we just got back to the room after uh, about a million hours of travel and uh, the key's not working so I'm walking back down to reception which seems to be forever away. Um, little Jim Bob's waiting back there. Give us a wave Jim. But all in all it's a pretty good day. So uh, yeah I'm heading down the lift now to go and get the key sorted out. Um, Nobody, I thought someone's gonna come and join me. Um, I think someone's pressed all the buttons, that's nice. So anyway, today's been really good. We, uh, it was a really hot day. It's been a hot day for traveling, going back and forth um, from Holland. But it was worth it, we had a great day with Ronald Dumont and uh, the Julian, the new uh, brand manager. And we uh, got a few things. Right, which way do I go? Reception. This way. So we managed to get a load of stuff sorted out. We uh, talked about the brand itself and the concept and the way that it's moving forward. Um, we've got lots of ideas for growing the brand, new products uh, to enjoy to the range, what products are stronger, what we want the brand identity to be. And I think it's going to be a really exciting next two or three years with another collection and other things that are going to be uh, coming along with some education that we're planning to do for it. So that's really, really exciting. Um, so I'm just gonna get this key sorted out and then we're crashing because tomorrow uh, morning early, we are flying to Denver for the launch of 1922 in the States with me and James, which should be really good fun. So uh, yeah, I came down to change the key. The queue is massive. So I'm just gonna sit here and uh, drink this bottle of beer whilst the queue goes down. Why not Brewdog all the way? Catching up. Right, time to hit the road and uh, go and get our flights to Denver, which is the first stop. It's Del uh, Detroit and then on to Denver. About 14 hours of flying today. Jim Bob's in here. Jimmy Jim. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's pearly whites. Right, let's get going. So yeah, here I am, we've made it. It's uh, quarter to nine in the evening here in Denver, uh, which is about quarter to four in the morning back home in the UK. So both me and James were a little exhausted. We got to um, Detroit and we flew from Detroit to Denver, but uh, the weather was really bad in Denver so we couldn't land. So then we had to go into uh, Colorado Springs. We landed there, we were there for three hours waiting for fuel because everyone had been diverted there and it's a very small airport so that was good fun so we're here a little bit later than we should be um i've just got here to my room just seen a couple of the guys uh, as we're checking in but i'm just dumped my bag off and i'm gonna go back downstairs the room looks really good so i wash my face and freshen up a little bit because uh yeah knackered but yeah i'll show you my room so we come in we've got a nice big shower is there a light somewhere there we go nice big shower big vanity area 
and then we've got king bed there should be another light here somewhere maybe maybe not yeah king bed which you can see lights pretty good anyway um little seating area let's see what our views like oh yep amazing look at that sunset over the uh, rockies nice view it's absolutely beautiful driving in looking out over the rockies with just seeing that sunset coming down in such vast space over the uh, the plains is so flat and then all of a sudden you've got these rockies there it's just crazy anyway i'm going downstairs and see everybody quickly um and see what happens get something to eat wow seriously i mean when you look at that view that is what i've been waking up to the rocky mountains overlooking denver colorado if we zoom in a little bit, you can see snowy peaks over there. Weather outside is actually excellent. <clears throat> really good. Just back down, go and get some breakfast, and then meet up the rest of the guys, and get going. So we've had morning prepping, getting all our plans ready for the run through of tomorrow's launch. Some inspiration boards going on. Uh, these are all going to get filled out later on tonight after we've had the model call which is starting in a minute and the uh, stylist is arriving anyway now here's Jim Bob what are you doing Jim Bob not much Tommy Bobby Bobby what do you think of this morning good yeah it's good it's all but, going to plan is it so well, far so good making the plan today I That's think it's going well look at that handsome fellow over there on the stage <laughs> it's another Jimmy Bob <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to the Jim Bob song? Mel, Mel Gibson's here as well. <laughs> <laughs> perfect timing, James. Model call. That was beautiful. I was trying to film Corey. Alright, so what? Yeah. So if you're in, so if you're if you're one of the models, you're in one of the chairs. Okay, so you go ahead, rip the cape off, and liability, please don't fall off the stage. Just a show. Yeah. Can everyone see what he's going to do here? Yes. No. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. So. Come up. Just stand up. Stand quite slow, don't go too fast. Tom, get back. Don't walk to this side. Alright, don't look at the audience in the eyes, look above their head. And just look over there. Look over there. Look over there. Look over this side. Yeah, good. Do you have a little Blue Steel, Magnum. Drop it like a top. And then once that's done. So we're all backstage, the guys are starting to come in. They're all behind here, having their little cocktail hour. Let's see if I can sneak a little peek from behind here. Everyone's looking fantastic. The effort everyone's gone to is brilliant. That's where the magic's gonna happen. So we've got about, everyone's been allowed in, seven o'clock. We're hitting the stage by eight o'clock. It's all looking really good. The guys are all back here getting ready. Behind that curtain behind me is where everyone is, I just showed you. So all the models back here. Well, actually, you can't see anyone from there. They're all behind this thing here. Yeah, where am I doing? Yeah. Georgie boy. You look very dapper. Wow, look at you. Two lots of trouble. Trouble. Double trouble. Double trouble. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> so, all done. I'm back in my room. We had a fantastic show. I think the uh, the whole thing flowed really well. We're a little worried about the uh, interchanging. We didn't have like specific sections apart from the front and the end and uh, I think it all flowed really well. Everyone really enjoyed it. The feedback's been amazing. I've met some amazing people tonight. Uh, tomorrow we've got classes to teach so I think I'm going to just uh, 
get my head down, get some rest, grab a shower, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. It's gonna be a big day. Looking right, forward me to and Jimmy Bob are here. It's the Sunday, and so the last day of this part in Denver, Colorado. Jimmy Bob's gonna be teaching this morning, I'm gonna be teaching this afternoon, and we're gonna do some run through with the team that were here yesterday. How you feeling, Jimmy Bob? Good, man. Good. I'll tell you what, I'm actually quite impressed with these uh, heads, because they've actually got curly beards rather than straight beards. It's not quite the same, but pretty good as it goes. So whilst we're setting up and doing a big presentation, so there's Jessica through there on the main stage, and we're in the room next door. So James has started the class already. <laughs> With, uh, now he's bending it over. James is cutting hair, his hair on the floor. The class are very attentive, as you can see. All these mannequin <laughs> heads know exactly how to cut this with first section. Research, finding out what's ideal for that, for that crown, yeah? Okay, so the first thing best to do for a crown is to cut the top, okay? Mm. Jimmy Bob. Morning. We're gonna go and explore in Denver, right? Hop into Denver. Yeah. Around. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lovely. It's absolutely Check stunning. Out the you can see the mountains in the background over there. down at the Pepsi Center down here. The amusement park is Elite Garden. So I made it downtown by Union Station. Jimmy Bob's gonna go for a frolic. <laughs> he bailed at the last minute. It's a little bit cooler down here. So far, it looks like a very beautiful, beautiful city. Blowing out the mist to keep him cool. So it's Tom Bob and Jimmy Bob. Hello. <laughs> Walking downtown Denver. Some beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful buildings, place. beautiful architecture. Real nice sort of like those little outdoor seating areas, places to eat. Um, so far, first impression, I think it's a pretty nice place. What do you reckon, James? Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Really nice. Very clean. Very. Um, in a way with some of the buildings isn't it? Yeah, I think it feels, like I said to you, I think it feels to me like a, uh, like a smaller, cleaner New York. Yeah, it does, yeah. Real nice, real nice. Awesome. Yeah, so we're going to keep on exploring and then go back and meet the guys for lunch before we head out to Atlanta. It's the most part of walking we've done in the last few days, isn't it? Well, <laughs> other than this, we've never been outside the, uh, outside no, the car park or the hotel, so <laughs> yeah, as far we went, but yeah, it's nice. Hello. Hey, how's it going? You're better now we're on Cheesecake Factory. Jimmy Bob's never been here, so I thought I'd uh, treat him. I know he likes a good dessert. What one you got, Jim Bob? <laughs> oh, it looks good. I got the Oreo one, obviously, with a bit of a giveaway with a giant bloody Oreo on top. Yeah. Let's see how ill I can feel after it. I've been defeated. And this is Jim Bob. Cheesecake Factory one. Jim and uh, Jim Bob and Tom Bob nil. Little baby bear. So these are some of the animals that we might see up here, right? Yeah. We're gonna go for a hike. We're up at Boulder in Colorado, just up in the mountains of the Rockies. And there's some of the things we might see on our little hike we're going on. I like this guy. Look at his little face. Start getting this man 
There's a little Jimmy. Look at that. Wow, man. That is unbelievable. So this may be the last time you see us. We're taking a hike up into the Rockies. Um, we've been told there's what wolves, bears, mountain lions, all that kind of stuff up here. I'm assuming we're not going to see anything on the trails, but you never know, Jim Bob. You never know. You never know. This view is just crazy. How flat it is. It's so flat down there. And all of a sudden it's like, boom, Rockies. It's a Jim Bob. <laughs> all of a sudden it's a Jim Bob. Boom. With his shirt off. And full on Baywatch style. Yeah. Quick update. We're still alive. Alive. This is day two. <laughs> day two from the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Size that dragonfly. Whoa. Can you even see it on here? No, probably not. It's an adver advert for smart water. Ooh, drink smart water just like Jimmy Bob. Here comes Jimmy Bob. Unbelievable. America's a pretty unbelievable country, right? So peaceful. Who would have thought that cutting hair could get you to a place like this? Yeah, right. Pretty lucky. We are lucky, man. Just what you can do through uh, through your art and your craft. If you put in the time and the passion and the, the work, you can get to do stuff like this. I just feel like I don't work a day in my life. Cutting hair is the most fun thing ever. Yeah, right on. Bear activity confirmed in this area, James. James doesn't know how to use the map. <laughs> Liability has got us lost and we're gonna get eaten by bears. <laughs> Here comes one now. Day 54 and we've made it out of the forest. Well, I say we, James was eaten by a bear. We didn't see any bear. I don't know if you can see it, it's an eagle up there. Right above us. No way. Oh man, I can't get it. That's pretty amazing. And off he goes into the woods. Are hey, you coming back round? So we made it to Atlanta. We uh, we stayed an extra day in Denver, so we were with everybody for that last day, and then we uh, flew out today at two o'clock, and we arrived here in Atlanta about seven o'clock, so two hours difference, and then we just got back to I think what time is it now? It's like nine, yeah, nine o'clock, um, and we just got to the hotel. We had a problem with the hotel because we got switched up because we stayed another night, so then we couldn't stay there, and then we've. So we walked up the road a little bit and we're the embassy suite, but it does mean we've got a really nice uh, new, really nice room for tonight. We've got a massive uh, sort of lounge area and then uh, a bathroom and a bedroom through the back there. So I'm just gonna uh, hit the sack, I think, and get ready for tomorrow because we've got to meet at the Academy, uh, New York North America Academy, which is just over the road at uh, 7.45. So it's a nice early start. Yeah. So here is the Keen Academy here in Atlanta. This is the wash basin area. Uh, we've got all the uh, all the men's products out. So the guys that we're teaching today are from a place called Ross the Boss. They are the race team, which is their 
uh, educational team and Ross the Boss is a, uh, a salon which has started off and the guy who started it isn't a hairdresser he is a uh, it was a shoe salesman he bought some uh, a place called fantastic sam's i think they said it was called so he bought the first one and now he has 11 of them uh, or 12 of them sorry all over uh, tennessee so these this is going to be his education team they're coming in to hang out with us today and get uh cool stuff for the men's haircuts and men's looks and we're going to try and give them something they can then take back to their uh, salons and educate the rest of the team. So it's going to be a fun day. That's Jimmy Bob over there. And we're setting up in this room that James is in on the stage and then we're going to do the all the after work workshop hands on in here this afternoon. Should be fun. Jimmy Bob. Jimmy Bob. Thank you. 